There are 20 new cases of coronavirus reported overnight. They're all local cases. Uh, 14 of those were in isolation throughout their infectious period. 15 of those cases are linked to current outbreaks. However, there are a number of mystery cases and cases that are still being investigated. That really is the most important number. The fact that uh, an out outbreaks that are already uh, challenged by the fact that we can't determine where the original source, where the index case was and how they got it, and the fact that uh, through uh, information overnight, through these results overnight, we have added, in fact, to the number of mysteries, the number of unanswered questions out there. Uh, that's why, sadly, today uh, the Cabinet of the Government, uh, we have uh, met and we have determined to accept the advice of the Chief Health Officer to extend uh, for a further period of seven days uh, till 11.59pm next Thursday. Uh, this is very challenging, I know, for every single Victorian who would like to be going about their business. I'd like to be open and have a degree of freedom that's simply not possible because of this Delta variant. The extreme infectivity of this virus uh, and the fact that within a very short space of time, if we were to open, then we would see cases akin to what's happening uh, tragically in Sydney right now. So uh, if I could just go through a few of the numbers of the day though, so the 20 cases I've spoken about, uh, 41,571 test results received overnight. So again, I thank each and every one of those more than 40,000 Victorians who got tested yesterday. 98% of results are coming back the following day. So if you've got symptoms, uh, you must get tested. Um, appealing to, no matter how mild the symptoms are, you must get tested and you mustn't wait. You must get tested as soon as possible and know and be certain that we will get your results back to you the following day uh, and we'll support you no matter what the result of those tests. 23,811 people were vaccinated yesterday. Uh, we've seen a uh, really strong uptake in those extra, extra AstraZeneca, those additional AstraZeneca appointments that we bought online and the eligibility expansion from 18 to 39. The drive-through site's working very well. I can, not today, but quite soon we'll be able to speak to further expansions of the AstraZeneca program, further expansions of our hub model, uh, so that we can get even more people vaccinated over the coming month or so. Uh, it's very important, uh, as the Chief Health Officer said yesterday, the best vaccine is the one that you can access today. Uh, that makes a huge contribution to us getting to the other side of these lockdowns, getting to the other side with a very different set of rules. Uh, so we thank everybody who's taken us up on that offer and booked and been part of that expanded program. Just to give you an example, in the last 24 hours there's been something like 7,000 AstraZeneca bookings uh, and over 30,000 Pfizer bookings. That's a massive increase in the AstraZeneca bookings compared to where it was a week ago. Uh, so even in just a few days we've seen uh, thousands and thousands of Victorians uh, access that AstraZeneca or book to access that AstraZeneca vaccine because we have made it available through an informed consent process. Uh, just one further announcement, as you all know we have a border bubble that operates on the border with New South Wales. Uh, there are six reasons where you, for, that, that you can use any of those reasons to move within that border bubble. It's very important though that we not only limit movement but that we have the clearest picture of who is moving within that border bubble. So from 1pm tomorrow, uh, but not enforced until 6pm Friday, uh, people will need to, if they want to use that bubble, they will need to get a permit and they will need to uh, apply for a permit. It's a relatively straightforward process. We'll be doing lots of communications along those border communities so that people know, but it's not good enough to limit movement. You need to know who's moving. Uh, and before anyone says, oh, why, why would you do that? Uh, if this virus can get from Sydney to Byron Bay, to Dubbo, to Armidale, to Tamworth, then only a fool would think that it couldn't get to Albury. It absolutely can. And that's why we need to go beyond just a bubble. We need to have permits so that people can apply once, have their permit, and then we have a clear sense of, uh, of who is moving within those border towns. Uh, it, Logic tells you uh, there's every chance that it comes to those uh, border, those new southern New South Wales communities, uh, and then there's a potential risk to coming into Victoria. We need to know, have as much information as possible uh, about who is moving uh, in that border bubble. As I said, those permits will be available from tomorrow, uh, but we won't enforce that. We'll give people time to apply. We won't enforce that until 
uh, 6 o'clock Friday evening. I apologise for any inconvenience, but frankly the inconvenience of having to get a permit is nothing compared to being locked down uh, or having cases in an outbreak in communities that have never had an outbreak uh, before. The situation in New South Wales is very, very challenging and with hundreds of cases now, thousands of active cases, uh, and the fact we have seen movement well into regional New South Wales, we have to assume that that is going to be a feature of that uh, New South Wales outbreak uh, for some time. All in all, I'd love to be standing here announcing that we're coming out of lockdown this coming Thursday. That is simply not possible. We need to go until next, next Thursday. Uh, that is the public health advice. There are too many cases and too many cases, the origins of which are not clear to us too many unanswered questions, too many mysteries for us to safely come out of lockdown now. This is working though. It is more than containing cases to have 14 of those 20 uh, locked away uh, in ISO, no risk to public health. As I said earlier in the week, that trend would go. We start would grow. We started with one case, then we moved to four or five. Now we're at 14. Uh, that percentage is growing and it will uh, continue to. But some of these new cases today and the potential chains of transmission that sit behind them and the fact that we are getting further mysteries, not just the original two mystery cases, but further mystery cases, that is a real concern to us. That's why uh, I can only appeal uh, again, every Victorian, whether you're in Melbourne or in regional Victoria, if you've got symptoms, get tested and don't delay an hour, let alone three or four days, please go and get tested today. We'll get your results tomorrow and then we'll protect you and look after you and support you no matter what the outcome of that test is. In terms of the rules, they are incredibly important. They are about saving lives and getting us to the other side of this and I'd appeal to all Victorians to follow those rules, use common sense, make the best choices for your family and every family and, and can I thank and congratulate the vast majority of Victorians who are doing that. Uh, it makes you very proud to see so, so many people doing the right thing, not just for themselves, but for everybody. Whether we like it or not, we are all in this together until we get the community through the vaccination program. That is still some months away, but it's very encouraging that there's been strong uptake of the expansions we announced on Sunday. Uh, and just foreshadowing, not today, but in the next few days, I'll have some more exciting announcements about it, the important opportunity uh, and, and the absolute likelihood uh, that, that many hundreds of thousands more Victorians will be able to access the vaccine over coming weeks. I now might ask Jerome to speak to uh, individual cases and the outbreaks. Uh, then the Chief Health Officer might speak to his advice and the reason why it's so important that we extend this lockdown, as disappointing as that is, and then we can take any and all questions you have.